Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Ladybird Books traces its origins to 1867, when Henry Wills opened a bookshop in Loughborough in Leicestershire. Within a decade, he progressed to printing and publishing guidebooks and street directories. He was joined by William Hepworth in 1904, and the company traded as Wills and Hepworth. By 1914, Wills and Hepworth had published their first children's books under the Ladybird imprint. From the beginning, the company was identified by a Ladybird logo, at first with open wings, but eventually changed to the more familiar closed wing Ladybird in the late 1950s. The Ladybird logo has undergone several redesigns, the latest of which was launched in 2006. The pocket-sized hardback ladybird measured roughly 4.5 by 7 inches. Early books used a standard 56-page format, chosen because a complete book could be printed on one large standard sheet of paper, a quad crown, 40 inches by 30 inches, which was then folded and cut to size without waste paper. It was an economical way of producing books, enabling the books to be retailed at a low price, which for almost 30 years remained at two shillings and sixpence, that's twelve and a half pence. The first book in the line, Bunnykin's Picnic Party, a story in verse for children with illustrations in colour, was produced in 1940. The book featured stories in verse, accompanied by full-colour illustrations. The appeal of Bunnykin, Downy Duckling, and other animal characters made the book an instant success. Later series included nature books and a host of non-fiction books, including hobbies and interests, history and travel. Wills and Hepworth began trading as Ladybird Books in 1971 as a direct result of the brand recognition that their imprint had achieved in Britain. In the 1960s and 70s, the company's keywords reading scheme, launched in 1964, was heavily used by British primary schools, using a reduced vocabulary to help children learn to read. Thousands of children, myself included, grew up on the Peter and Jane books. This series of 36 small format hardback books presented stereotype models of British family life, the innocence of Peter and Jane at play, Mum the housewife, and Dad the breadwinner. In the 1960s, Ladybird produced the Learn About series of non-fiction informational books, some of which were used by adults as well as children. An independent company for much of its life, Ladybird Books became part of the Pearson Group in 1972. However, failing demand in the late 1990s led Pearson to fully merge Ladybird into its Penguin Books subsidiary in 1998 joining other established names in British children's books such as Puffin Books, Dorling Kingsley and Frederick Warren. The Ladybird offices and printing factory in Loughborough closed the same year, and much of the company's archive of historic artwork was transferred to public collections. In 2014, Ladybird signed up to the Let Books Be Books campaign and announced that it was committed to avoiding labelling books as for girls or for boys and would be removing such gender labelling in reprinted copies. The publisher added, out of literally hundreds of titles currently in print, we actually only have six titles with this kind of titling. Its parent company, Penguin Random House, followed suit. In 2015, it was announced that Ladybird Books would be publishing its first series of books for adults. The eight books, which parody the style and artwork of the company's books for children, included the titles The Hangover, Mindfulness, Dating and The Hipster, and were written by television comedy writers Jason Hazley and Joel Morris. The series follows a trend of other spoof Ladybird books, including We Go to the Gallery by Miriam Elia, who had previously been threatened with legal action by Penguin. In 2016, Touchstone Books, an imprint of Simon & Schuster, announced that they would publish American adaptions of the Ladybird books for grown-ups, called the Fireside Grown-Up Guides. Ladybird Expert was launched in 2017, following the success of Ladybird for Grown-Ups. The books in this series are not parodies, but instead use the classic format to serve as clear introductions to a wide variety of subjects, generally in the fields of science and history. The first book published and the inspiration of the series is Climate Change by the Prince of Wales, Tony Juniper and Emily Schuckberg. Four more titles were released that same year. The line was expanded with 15 further books in 2018 and more titles were published in 2019.
A big thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. To get early advert free access to new videos or to appear in the credits, please consider supporting me using the Patreon link below from just $1 or 80p a month and hit that subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.